way out in the dark expanse. If you're lucky, you can catch a glance brighter than any star we've met or any other objects discovered yet. Ancient entities that are hard to find, but the sheer power of one will blow your mind. Powered by a massive black hole at their core. Incredible phenomena we can't ignore. Quasars, they are quasars. Why does a quasar burn so bright? Extreme hot gases generate light. Quasars, they are quasars. Brightest objects in the universe Throughout the cosmos they're interspersed Their luminosity makes them hard to miss Bright ejection jets and accretion disks Billions of times more massive than our sun I can't wait to go and meet one Quasars, they are quasars It's time to meet Yes, it's time to go and meet a quasar Quasar BC-48, that's me I had a struggle Confused at first, you see. They thought I was a star in the constellation Triangulum, but were a bit perplexed when I didn't behave like one. I was discovered in the year of 1960, but they didn't know I was a quasar until they found 3C273, another mysterious object that acted very similar. Scientists soon realized that both of us were quasars. The Einstein cross, that's me, in the Pegasus constellation. I'm a perfect example of gravitational lensing. When you look at me, there's a galaxy closer to you in your line of sight. It acts like a magnifying lens, and its gravity can bend my light. My light is sent in different directions around that galaxy named Kukla's lens. Einstein predicted that intense gravity would make light bend. So even though there is really only one of me, to you it looks like there are four. The flower shape you see. Chico, six one eight, a hyperluminous quasar, am I? You can find me in the constellation Katie's Venatocyte. I'm a radium loud quasar, not subtle at all. My ejection jets have strong radio wave like the missions that are powerful. I have one of the largest known black holes at the center of me, giving me extraordinary amounts of energy. 66 billion times more massive than your sun. My colossal black hole is second to none. PKS 1302-102, I'm here to share. I don't have just one black hole, I actually have a pair. Two black holes in my accretion disk. That will very soon merge and create a tremendously powerful energy surge. These binary black holes are about to collide. When they do, they'll create shockwaves that could disrupt space-time. You can find us in the Virgo constellation until our inevitable and ultimate obliteration. I'm Quasar Mercury in the 501. But that's not all. I'm just begun. I'm special because I emit gamma rays. My ejection jet is aimed at Earth, and that's where it will stay. I'm a blazer. I'm a blazer. A quasar whose ejection gets point directly at Earth, but I'm not a threat yet. Where are GL529-4351? My luminosity is roughly 500 trillion times the luminosity of your sun. With an enormous accretion disk and bright ejection jet, I'm the biggest, fastest growing, most luminous quasar yet. My black hole is the fastest growing black hole ever found to date. It increases in mass by about the equivalent of eating one sun per day. I'm so far away, it took my light over 12 billion years to reach you. In the Pictor constellation, my growth and expansion will continue. I'm G0005-0006, one of the smallest quasars ever discovered to exist. And I'm J0303-0019, another extremely small quasar that your scientists did find. 
we have two of the most primitive, oldest black holes ever uncovered, leading astronomers to believe that we're first generation quasars that were discovered. We are both dust free, no stardust for you to see. About 13 billion light years away is where you can find me and me. I am Quasar CTA 102, a blazer whose ejection jet is pointed directly at you. But not to worry, I am about 8 billion light years away in the Pegasus constellation, and that's where I will stay. In 1963, an astrophysicist from Russia thought he uncovered proof of alien life because of an unidentified radio signal he discovered. Now scientists know I'm a quasar, but he thought I was an extraterrestrial civilization. The folk rock band The Birds wrote a song about it in 1967. I'm a double quasar, a very rare find. I'm known as J0749-2255. Two quasars very close to each other, you see. Three billion years ago, we were part of two merging galaxies. But that's not all the full telescope could find. It also spotted J0841 plus 4825, another double quasar that was part of two galaxies that merged together. And now our two already merged galaxies are colliding with each other. We are huge. L-Q-G Not a single quasar, we are 73 We make up one of the largest known celestial structures in the universe Across 4 billion light years, we're interspersed Quasars, we are quasars If you were driving at the speed of light, it would take 4 billion years to cross us from side to side Quasars, we are quasars Now I'm a chance to meet one quasar. We are quasars.